In today's video, we are going to solve word problems involving division of fractions. A log is 12 and 5 eighths feet long. The carpenter wants to cut the log into 7 pieces. How long should each cut measure? So sa pagsusolve ng kahit na anong word problem, ang nakasanayan na natin gawin ay apat na bagay lang naman. Una is to identify the problem. Ano ba talaga yung hinihingi ng problem? Ano yung hinahanap niya? Galawa, anong plano natin para masolve yun? Anong operation ang kailangan gamitin? Katlo, ano anong proseso yung pagdadaanan? Basically, kikerry out mo na yung plano mo. And then lastly, ano yung sagot dun sa problema? What will be the final answer? Itong apat na bagay lang naman yung hinahanap natin kapag nagsasolve tayo ng word problems. Pero simulan natin dun sa pag-identify kung ano yung hinahama, hinahanap, ano yung hinihingi sa atin ng problem. Usually may kita naman yun sa last part ng problem. Then this example's case, meron daw log na 12 and 5 eighths feet long. Tapos gusto ng karpintero na hatiin yun into 7 pieces. Ang hinahanap ni problem, how long should each cut measure? Yan ang ating problem. Ibig sabihin yung magiging final answer mo, dapat sumasagot dyan sa tanong na yan. Anong plano natin? Paano natin isasolve yung problem na yan? Ano-anong operation ang kailangan natin gamitin? Kung i-analyze mo yung problem, binigay yung isang log, itong hatiin, into 7 pieces. Basically, we are going to use division. Use division. Tingnan natin kung mayroon pang ibang kakailangan ng operation. Kung wala na, anong kailangan i-divide? So, use division. To be more specific, we need to divide. Divide 12 and 5 eighths by 7. Yan yung plano. Ano yung magiging proseso? Ano yung pagdadaanan nating process to solve that problem? Sulat natin dito sa baba. Buray mo na natin yung final answer. So, ano yung process natin? If we are asked to divide 12 and 5 eighths by 7 in symbols, that will be like this. So ngayon, baka ma-realize mo na that we are actually asked to divide a mixed number by a whole number. So paano natin gagawin yun? The first thing to do, i-rewrite natin yung mixed number into an improper fraction. To do that, we need to multiply the denominator by our whole number and then i-add natin yung numerator. So yung resulting fraction... 8 multiplied by 12, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So, meron tayong 96. Ito yun. Nag-multiply tayo. And then, yung 96, actually, hindi ko muna pala dapat sinulit si 96. Kasi yung 96, matapos mong mag-multiply, kailangan mo pang i-add kay 5. Ganun magsulat ng mixed number to improper fraction. So 96 plus 5, that will give us 101 over 8. Gamit tayo ng kaparehong kulay. 101 over 8. Again, in-add kasi natin yung 5 matapos mag-multiply ng 8. Sa 12, nag-add tayo ng 5, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng... 101 sa numerator and then yung denominator ni re lang natin kung ano man yun nandun kung lang 
then it divide down by 7 which is a whole number pero baka makatulong kung aalalahanin natin na lahat ng whole number ay eh, meron actually yung remainder ay denominator na 1 and with that pwede na tayo mag proceed dun sa steps na alam natin in dividing fractions kung saan the first step is to find the reciprocal of the divisor. This is our divisor. So, i reciprocate lang natin yan. Or, basically, if we flip natin. So, magiging tura ng ating problem ngayon will be 101 over 8 divided by 1 over 7 or 1 7. Then, we actually need to multiply. Matapos mo mag-flip, kailangan mo actually mag-multiply. So, instead of writing the division symbol, ang ilalagay na natin is the multiplication symbol. Yan. Again, mag-multiply ka lang kapag nakapag-flip ka na. Pagka-flip, you proceed to multiplication. So, paano natin yan? Multiply ang fractions. Multiply the numerator to the numerator, the denominator to the denominator. May dahilan kung bakit inunang topic si multiplication of fractions bago ang division kasi ginagamit mo yung multiplication sa pagdi-divide. So 101 multiplied by 1 is 101. Anything multiplied by 1 is the number itself. And then on the denominator, meron kang 8 times 7 which will give you 56. And then you can ask yourself, pwede ko pa bang simplify ang number na to? 101 over 56. Makaisip pa ba ako ng number na pwede kong i-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Kung wala na, ito na yung ating magiging final answer. Pero, tandaan, sa pagsusulat ng final answer, dito na natin lagay sa gilid. Sa pagsusulat ng final answer, kailangan nasagot mo Yung tanong, which is this one, how long should each cut measure? So in statement, tulad natin siguro yun, alam na natin yung value eh. So each cut should measure, since we're talking about measurement, kailangan may unit. At sa ngayon sa problem, ang ginamit is feet. Yun din gamitin natin. So, each cut should measure 101 over 56 feet. If you're not comfortable using the improper form, pwede mo naman yan i rewrite into mix number. So, each cut should measure 101 over 56 feet. This statement answers our problem. Now it's your turn. Can you do this? Let me know in the comment section kung ano ang makukuha mong sagot. Ano yung makukuha mong final answer. O kaya naman kung mayroong bahagi ng video na to na hindi mo ganong naunawaan, sabihin mo rin sa akin para mas matulungan kita next time. Thank you so much for watching this video.